Okay, so today I'm going to be making s'mores. S'mores are usually made uh, at a campfire with a fire, okay, uh, using a flame and putting it on a stick with Hershey, a Hershey bar and marshmallows and graham crackers. But here in school, we're actually going to be using the oven. So it's a different version, but it basically tastes the same. And we could prepare this on any type of day, whether it's sunny or rainy. So I've measured everything out. I think I'm good to go. I have my management plan and I have my recipe. I have my hair up. I have my apron on and I've washed my hands and I have my oven uh, preheated right now. So basically it says to pour one and a quarter cups of crushed graham cracker crumbs and sugar into the large mixing bowl. So I've already measured, like I said, I have, I'm sorry, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, but it's divided. So I need one and a quarter cups and then a quarter cup, which equals one and a half, but I'm eventually gonna take a quarter cup out of that, okay? And then I'm gonna take my sugar, which has been measured, which is two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. And it says to slowly pour the melted butter. So what I did is I put six tablespoons of butter into a liquid measuring cup and popped it in the microwave, of course, with a napkin or a paper towel over it to prevent it from splattering. Now it says four to six tablespoons, so I may not use all of this. So I'm gonna pour most of it in, okay, until it forms a crust. So I'm gonna drizzle a little bit and just stir, because this, of course, is gonna go into the bottom of your pan. So I'm gonna use basically the back of my spoon and I see that it is wet towards the bottom and I'm dry up on the top. And I just keep pressing that together. I do still see a lot of dry graham cracker, crumb, graham cracker crumbs. Now again, you could buy the graham cracker crumbs and, and uh, crumble them yourself, okay? Or you could buy them already in crumbs, usually in the baking section or in the cookie aisle for full blown ones. So it looks like I need most of that butter in a moment. We'll see if I need all of it. We don't want any extra butter that we don't really need. So I see that my crumbs are wet and it looks like a crumb mixture. So I'm gonna say I have maybe a tablespoon melted actually left. So I'm not even going to use that. So it's all stirred together course, you're probably not going to be able to see it on the video. And now it says to take out a quarter of a cup of this mixture. So I'm just going to take my quarter of a cup measuring cup and eyeball it. And then it says to put in a white bowl. Okay, and that's going to be used for the end as a little bit of a topping. Then it says to pour this mixture into a grease and foil lined 8 by 8 inch pan. What I'm going to do is I have a piece of foil. So this is what I like to do. Flip it over. You want the shiny side up. So what I did when I looked at the pan, I have the non-shiny side. I'm looking at it. And then when I invert it, the shiny side is here. I'm going to take and push it right back in. Make sure it gets all into the corner without making a hole in the corner. This makes it for easy access on day two because you, you won't be here when it comes out to take it out. So I'm gonna grease it. I already have some butter that's nice and soft. You could use cooking spray, a little bit of butter on the bottom to prevent it from sticking. Corners come up like it is for me, just push it back down. Now, if you didn't have foil, you don't have to use foil, it's just really for easy cleanup in school. So now it says to take this mixture, put it in to greased pan. And I'm going to form a crust by using the back of my metal spoon. Okay, 
So you can use a spoon. You can also use a measuring cup, the bottom of a measuring cup. Actually, mine, I'm going to actually use a quarter cup to show you. So just taking, just forming that nice crust as even as I can. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you, or I could use the quarter cup that I have here. Make it nice and tight. I have to put the pan down. I'm trying to make it nice and even. I've actually never made this before, so this is a trial and error. Uh, Miss Hamilton actually uh, tried this, and I haven't had the time yet in class to prepare it, so we're going to see how it goes for me and whether or not we make it in class or I share some with you. So I've got nice crust, nice and hard. Okay, again, this was actually pretty nice to use rather than using the spoon. I got more of the surface down and it packed it really nice and tight. Okay, it then says to sprinkle the marshmallows evenly on top. So I'm, I've already had my marshmallows measured. So there's my one and a half cups of mini marshmallows. They're just gonna melt easier than the big ones. If that's all you have, maybe you could just cut up the marshmallows. Sprinkle chocolate chips evenly on top. I have my one cup of chips. So I have banana bread baking in the oven right now from a class, and now I'm gonna have s'mores being baked, which s'mores actually, if you didn't know, the name s'mores come from, because they are so good and chocolatey, people used to say, give me some more. So that's where the name s'mores came from. Pretty cool, huh? If that's just, some of you never knew that. Don't say you didn't learn anything in class today, because you are being taught a variety of things, and hopefully you are doing this at home. Now this is a two day recipe, you don't get to eat these, okay? Uh, when they're nice and hot like you would if you were at a campfire or something, but they are just as good. Chocolate, marshmallows, graham crackers, you can't go wrong with that. Sprinkle excess, so I have my graham cracker crust, I have my marshmallows, I have my chips, and now I'm gonna put a little bit more, that sprinkle, that extra graham cracker that we took out, and put it on the top. Now it doesn't make that full uh, crust like it would, okay, at a campfire, but it's basically the same thing. It's gonna smell delicious, and I'm gonna show you when it comes out. So this is s'mores baked in an eight by eight inch pan, right? And I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna show you when it comes out. Okay, so I'm taking the s'mores out of the oven. And this is what it looks like. So the chocolate is starting, it starts to melt. They don't melt all the way. Maybe if you use mini morsels, they will. I'm gonna try to get closer to the video. Okay, the marshmallows are melting, the grain crackers are a little golden, and the marshmallows are a little golden too. So again, s'mores usually, while it's hot, this is a two day recipe, we don't have a lot of time, and also it's very, very hot, so I wouldn't want anybody's uh, mouth to get burned. So we would come in on day two, and just show you a move again, the bell is gonna ring. Okay, this is very hot right now, so I'm not gonna show you all the way, it's soft. So what's gonna happen is on day two, you're gonna lift it out and then we're just gonna cut it um, into bars, okay? So hopefully after eating, you'll say, give me some more for s'mores, okay? I hope you enjoyed and happy baking at home.